We need a repeater to create a table, drag in a rectangle, convert it to a repeater, and then add 12 rows of data. In addition, a global variable needs to be set to control the number of columns in the table. We create a global variable called column. The default value is 3, which represents the initial number of columns in the table. Enter the repeater, select the rectangle, and add the loaded interaction. Move this widget and set the x value to this dot width multiply item dot index minus one column. Set the y value to minus this dot height multiply math dot seal item dot index minus one column slash column. You can study the specific meaning of this formula yourself. Where item dot index represents the index of the current item, Modulus represents modulus, and column represents the value of the global variable column that we set. Then, preview the prototype and you can see a table with four rows and three columns, successfully set. Next, we use buttons to control the number of rows in the table. Drag in a button and change the text to four columns. Add a click interaction to the button. First, set the value of the column variable to four. Then add fire event and select the loaded event for the rectangle in the repeater. Preview the prototype. Click the four columns button to see the table change to four columns.